Hi, welcome to Life Hacks. And can you share your growth, salary growth in IT? So I'm, so. I'm a retired uh, cloud engineer. And I started in the IT field, I think it was 95, 96, uh, outside of London. Uh, my first job uh, was a system admin at a very small software house. I was making a loss. I was on nine grand a year. And uh, yeah, and I learned a lot. I was a Linux, a, a Unix network administrator. I looked after Solaris systems and IBM AIX. Um, and I had to learn a lot, like a lot, insane amount. So nine grand. And a year later, they gave me a 300 pound salary increase. 300 pound. I have worked my ass off. And uh, so that's, and then I decided it's time to leave. So my next job was working in a support desk on, uh, I believe it was 12 grand or something like that. Yeah, 12, 13 grand. Uh, and then I, from there, I moved uh, into a software developer role. Uh, Foxborough, I believe it was. And that was on 15 grand. I didn't do well there because I was just isolated. Uh, so from there, I moved uh, to back to being a sysadmin, uh, a Unix sysadmin in Winchester and uh, on 25 grand. Um, in, that included the car allowance as well. And from there, I went, I moved to the city. And my first job was an IT consultant for a Unix limited company. Uh, we, and they would basically outsource me to other companies. And I was paid 25 grand. And when I got there, they put me in, I think it was in BT Cellnet. And I was sitting around contractors on four, five, six hundred pound a day. And I'm sitting in the middle of them on 25 grand a year. Um, and I was like, and, and I knew it was some, as much as they did. Do you know, like there wasn't much difference in, in our skill level or our knowledge. And I'm like, if these guys are on four, five, six hundred pound a day, what the hell am I doing? And I think it took me like a year to get out of that company and go contracting. And my first contracting, I think I got um, uh, 60 grand or something like that. Um, it was for uh, altodigital.com. And they then wanted me to go permanent. So they offered me a million pound in shares, which the company went bust, so it was worth nothing. And I think they gave me a 45 grand salary. So I took a pay cut to uh, go on their... Um, on their on their board and i moved into capgemini vodafone cellnet uh swisscom and my salary was uh between five to six hundred pound a day every single day and uh, when i was on that um i was afraid to take holidays because i would look at taking a one week holiday and it would cost me thousands in lost earnings so i was very reluctant to take holidays so most of our holidays were long weekends we would take a, a day or an either I had Monday or Friday or something. I didn't want to take holidays. I didn't be losing that kind of money. Uh, so that was my uh, rise. And I, most of that money ended up uh, going into some investments, but mostly it went into, I mean, to go buying into buying houses. So most of them, yeah, it went into buying houses. And uh, yeah, that was good. So that was my rise and my role. So I think the, 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 what allowed me to succeed uh, was that um, I had this mentality that as soon as I started there, my goal was to make myself redundant. So as soon as I started there, any job I was doing, say if uh, like I had one company where the, the receptionist would get these calls and she was compiled list of uh, domain names that needed to be added to the server, uh, to the Apache interface. And uh, she would then every morning, she would send me this list or every afternoon, uh, like 10 or 20 of them. And I would then spend like half an hour or an hour adding these to the, um, to the server. And I was like, I don't want to do this every day. I don't want to spend half an hour every day adding 10, 20 domain names to Apache and then restarting it. So what I did was I wrote a front end for it I think it was in PHP or something. Um, and what that allowed uh, with, with the web interface, and I gave that to the receptionist. And so every time she got a call to uh, add a domain name, she could just add it herself. She would just add it, press, um, press done, and it would do a, a, uh, like a sanity check on Apache. And then it would 
uh, restart Apache, you know, soft restart Apache so that, you know, it wouldn't fail. And so if it was going to fail, it wouldn't restart. Um, so I do a lot of Sony check because I didn't want Apache failing because they had like 10,000 websites running on it. Uh, so things like that. And so what I tend to do is, um, is when I get tasks like that or whatever tasks I had, I'm always looking at, well, how can I automate this? How can I automate this so I never have to do it again? And how can I automate it in such a way that I can give it to somebody else, whoever's given me the instruction, whatever it is, and they can do it themselves. And I just look after the code. And I just look after the system. Uh, so if there's a problem there or, or their requirements change, I would then fix that. But for day to day, they wouldn't need me. And so what that allowed me to do, that allowed me to grow really fast because it, because it increased my skills. My skill to um, create um, um, solutions uh, got really good. Um, and my skill level went up a lot because I was coding a lot. And so I, yeah, so what that allowed me to do was it allowed me to do a lot more work because I was always um, um, delegate outsourcing it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was, I was doing internal outsourcing. Um, so it allowed me to keep outsourcing what I was doing. So it allowed me to take on even more and more work and it allowed me to take on even more challenging work. So I, so then I would become like a hub of, you know, where, uh, things would come get done, but other people do the donkey work. That's how I got it too. And that then allowed me to move to other companies. My pay salary went up and up. It was brilliant. It was brilliant. Um, yeah. Uh, just made a mistake on who I got married to. Yeah. Yeah. The secret to having a successful life is don't marry the wrong woman. Enjoy. <laughs>